Hello everyone. Today, we'll be going over how to give a product card a lifestyle image in a hover state on a mock in Figma. This is a popular and useful feature that many websites use, and we'd like to showcase this in Figma. As a designer, you might need to know how this feature can be done in the design phase so that you can show your client this great prototype. We will start by building your product card component, then create a hovering variation. Next, we will set up the prototyping of the product card component and add images to the instances of the component. Finally, we will check the design. We will also go over a minor pitfall, so let's dive in. Step 1. Build your product card component. As you can see in the design file of this example page, this product list page contains 15 product cards. Each product card element is the instance of the product card component. Here is the product card component design. It has the product title, product brand, product price, and the most important element, the product image placeholder. You may notice that actually, the product image placeholder is just a rectangular shape with a gray color. And you probably also noticed that there are two product image placeholders in this component. This is just a simple trick to the component. We will name these two placeholders image1 placeholder and image2 placeholder. There, we'll finish the first step of building the component. Step 2. Create a hovering variation. Once we've established the product card component, now we need a variation of this component to represent the state of the hovering product card. So we simply click the plus button of the variant, and you will now see the second product card component is created. Let's name it Hover. Now please make sure that in this variation, we will adjust the opacity of image 1 placeholder to 0 to make sure this layer is fully transparent. Step 3. Set up the prototyping of the product card component. Figma has this great feature that allows us to make it possible for interaction of prototyping within the component variants. First, we will go to the prototype sheet by clicking the link on the top right corner, then drag the dot from the default component to the hover variation. On the interaction details, we choose trigger to mouse enter, then select the animation to smart animate. Here, we can choose the easing setting to ease out, and then we will use a duration of about 150 milliseconds. Now we've set up the mouse entering interaction. We then need to set up the mouse leaving interaction. It is basically the same work. We now drag the dot from the hover variation to the default component. Choose trigger to mouse leave, set smart animate, and choose the ease out and 150 milliseconds duration. Now the interaction setup is all finished. Step 4. Add images to the instances of the component. The product card component is created and now we've placed 15 instances of the product card on the category page. What we are going to do is to place images into each product card. Here is the example for the first product card. By clicking this part, we can find this element from the left element tree. We can open the component layers and select the image 1 placeholder. Then from the top menu set, we choose this rectangular drop-down menu and select Place Image. Then we can choose the first product image file and place it here. And you will see that this image 1 placeholder changes to the product photo. After that, we will need to select the image 2 placeholder layer and place the second lifestyle image for this product. The process is exactly the same as the first image. For now, you cannot see this second image. Don't worry, it is only because the first product image is on top of it. Once this product card hovers, the first product image will turn fully transparent and the second lifestyle image will appear. Step 5. Check your design. Now all settings are done. Time to check the visual effect. We will run the prototype of this page in Figma. You can see that all 15 product cards have been placed with different product images. If your mouse is hovering over the first product card, then the image will change to the lifestyle image. Each different product card can have a different product image and a lifestyle image. And this is all fulfilled by only one component and the interaction settings. This let our client review the mock without any programming. If the client wants to change the size of the image, the style of the product card, or the hovering effect duration, we simply adjust the design of the component, then all instances can be updated at the same time. A pitfall to remember. 
the image placeholder rectangular in the component is actually the key element that contains the real images in the instance. When we design this rectangular, it has a default color in Figma when you create it. Normally, it will have a gray style color with a hex color value of EA, EA, EA. Make sure just keep this rectangular element in the default color and do not use predefined style color in your Figma project. For example, in this project, if we change this EA, EA, EA into the predefined sky blue, you will not be able to place any image file into this placeholder because Figma will not recognize this element as a default rectangular and it will not be able to contain any image file in it. So be careful and keep the image placeholder rectangular as the default color. And there you have it. Using the component and the interaction of component variations can allow us easily add a secondary image for each product card for the hovering effect and build a full category page very efficiently. Try this today and let your client reveal your fantastic prototype. Thanks for watching and see you soon.